In 2011, um, my wife and I lost our first child. We ran into some complications in the pregnancy. So he lived for nine days in intensive care before they finally said that there was you know, nothing they could do for him. I, uh, I spent a lot of time grieving that and just not knowing how to heal and I guess feeling lost, feeling lost for a while. So when I began just really embracing people, I realized that I could do more good just connecting with people, letting people know that like I'm, I just genuinely care about their healing. So I've been on a uh, significant journey the last six years and kind of like refining myself and what influences me and what my passions are. Massage had kind of been in the back of my mind for about four years. I'm always tuned into like not just my energy but like the energy in my room, the energy that the client brings into the room. When you dedicate yourself to those details, it opens up a more genuine door for healing. Biggest advice I would give somebody grieving uh, in that way is not to hinder your grieving or your growth based on how you think other people are gonna feel about it. I think it's very important to focus on yourself before you focus on your you know, connections with other people. You can't, you can't pour positive energy to somebody through an empty vessel and so like you have to focus on your own healing energy and your positive energy before you can impact other people's lives.